guys the pressure that has been put on me all year. Some of the biggest names in ufology, and you can probably name them. What, you know, what names do you guys think about when you think some of the biggest names in this community? Okay, yeah, yeah, and, and then some of those names I've already dealt with in what I'm about to tell you, but suffice it to say, although I've been around for seven years, Secure Team really didn't start posting and getting real popular until the last four years, probably, and then got really popular in the last two years. So in the past year and a half, two years, I have been contacted by some of these big names in ufology, names I used to look up to, you know, look up to, like, man, these guys are on top. The guys who, who do interviews and go to conventions and stuff out in Joshua Tree, contact in the desert. And these people and their handlers, sometimes it's their handlers, will email me or call me, say, hey, Tyler, we love your work, and uh, we'd like to know if you'd be open to... Uh, working with us, uh, our our guy uh, is got a new film coming out, and he'd like to maybe promote it with you and do this and do that. And but we're big fans of Secure Team, and you know, guys, I can't tell you how many letters and phone calls I've gotten that start in the exact same way from powerful people in this community. But by the end of the conversation. They're all the same. It's obvious that that they know that Secure Team is on top, which we are. Secure Team has taken over, which we have. We have an army of truth seekers out there. They know we're the number one. If you're if you're talking about information about UFOs and aliens, of course, there's a lot of great YouTube channels out there. There's a lot of great websites. There's a lot of great people. You know, people of the old days like Linda Moulton Howe or, or, or um, Stephen Greer, those types of people who are now contacting me because they know they can use me to make money for them. And that's what I'm finding, sadly, in this business. And, uh, 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 and what a good friend of mine recently who told me, he gave me some very good advice about this business because apparently – this whole UFO alien research community is a business, and it's cutthroat, I've learned. But he told me some advice and said, Tyler, just do your own thing. Don't make alliances with anyone because you will get stabbed in the back. Everyone is out for theirs. Everyone's looking to make a dime. You're the biggest, so they're going to be coming to you. And he was right. So... A lot of these big people come to me, pretend to be my friends, talk me up, when really they just want to use my channel to feature or promote whatever project they're doing, and then throw and, and then toss me to the wind. And I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm nobody's whore. All right, it's not going to happen. Don't come to me pretending to be my friend uh, just so you can get your little whatever promoted. Because it's not going to happen, and it hasn't. So, and so as I said, this was captured by Jim Martin, and the footage is included within a new film released by a well-known individual you may know as Dr. Stephen Greer. This guy has been one of the pioneers in ufology for many years, and so I want to show you guys another exclusive clip from that film uh, where you can see Jim Martin himself, the man who captured not only this footage, but another piece of footage that you may have seen before that I believe was captured in infrared uh, over Los Angeles of some of the craziest UFO sighting footage I have ever seen. So here is a clip from this new film. When I first started out, it was shocking. 
the first few orbs I saw, the phenomena I saw, changed my entire paradigm. The first sighting was an incredible triangle formation of three golden spheres over my apartment in Newport Beach, California. I ran outside and saw this formation right above my house at close range, and I managed to capture it on film. As I put the lens on it, I saw there were three perfect golden spheres, all holding this incredible formation over my apartment. The longer I filmed, the more maneuvers they demonstrated, and it was clear the objects were under intelligent control. All right, so Jim, he's an awesome guy. Like I said, avid sky watcher, has captured some amazing footage, and if you didn't see at the beginning of the clip, the new documentary film is called Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind which was released on uh, Amazon, Apple iTunes, uh, basically everywhere about seven or eight days ago, which, uh, again, I'll, I'll post a link to uh, the film down below. If you guys want to check it out, you can. I'm actually going to watch it when I'm finished with this video. And so, lastly, before we go today, I want to show you the actual trailer to the film. If you have not seen it yet, it looks very, very interesting. I'm excited to give my opinion on the film after... I watch it. Also, I am going to have Jim Martin, the man himself, the avid uh, UFO sky watcher, here on the channel for an interview uh, within the next coming week or so, so look out for that. And here is the trailer for Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. Oh my god. Oh my god. The question is often asked. When will UFO disclosure happen? These lights, they keep coming together? The answer is, it has. The New York Times revealed the existence of a secret government program to investigate UFO sites. This is a very complicated story. I have put a briefing together for every president since Bill Clinton. Interplanetary war. This is the next big thing that they want the public to be afraid of. This is a national security imperative. We must have American dominance in space. But it's all a lie. The national security state, they want to establish a planetary government by spinning that this is a threat. One set of facts, two narratives. The threat isn't extraterrestrial. The threat is covert human. The Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind Protocol, developed by Dr. Greer, is the most dangerous information he has released to the public. Human-initiated communication with extraterrestrials is possible. Oh. All of us are going to know the truth. This is our moment. We have the ability to change life for the better. Consciousness isn't limited by space and time. What I'm doing with CE5 is the foundation for the relationship between humans and these extraterrestrials. But the implications are absolutely profound. That shows consciousness does affect reality. And a critical mass of people can shift an entire civilization. But the intelligence community don't want the public to know. They say, what's in it for me? It's easy. A new world, if you can take it. Oh my God. All right, guys, so there you have it. We have some exclusive new UFO footage. Tell me what you think of the green lights along with this black object above it. Tell me what you think of Jim's footage, uh, his infrared footage of the object dropping what looked like hundreds of more smaller UFOs from it, uh, and uh, what you think of the film. Uh, and, yeah, stay tuned, as always. Hope you guys are all staying safe. New videos from Secure Team are coming, so with that... Hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you back in just a bit. What's in it for me? I'm nobody's whore, alright? Thank <laughs> you.